guys and welcome to my channel. Today it is the most amazing weather here in Stockholm. It is, let's see, 26 degrees here in Stockholm, which is very hot. <laughs> Everyone is out and just laying in the sun. That's how sweets are because we don't have sun that much. Okay, yeah. Um, so it's a very, very nice day and I don't want to like pile on like a uh, hundred layer of foundation. I am going to my dad's house and we are going to have like a, what do you say, like barbecue. I'm not going to eat any meat or stuff. I'm probably just going to eat like potatoes <laughs> um, and corn, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I'm going there. So I just want to do like a very fresh and lightweight uh, makeup. So as you guys know, I am a very oily skin type. So I will go in with this uh, Pores No More primer from Dr. Brandt. You will see when I put this on, it just like smooth out my skin so nicely. It's like a filter for your skin. So I actually use this all over my face. I'm not really sure how it will help me with the oil, but I will just be at my dad's house. So if I become a little bit oily, it's okay. It's okay. And now for foundation, I, as I said, I don't want to have like a very full coverage foundation. So I'm going to use the Lumine Blur Foundation in Ultra Light. And this is a medium uh, coverage and it also has SPF 15, which is great as it is a very, um, a lot of sun. And I am the palest girl you know. Uh, I actually already do have a SPF on my face and body. On my face I have the benefits that is SPF 40 I think so I will not get burnt don't you worry um, and on my face I have like 30. <laughs> yeah that's how it is when you are this pale. Yeah, I'm just going to put this on not too much and then I will go in with a beauty blender. I'm so lazy I'm always just having like face mists <laughs> and wetting the beauty blender with that because I don't want to go like 15 seconds to my bathroom like not even that like five seconds it takes me but I'm too lazy and then just dot this all over my face like that it just like smooth out my skin just a little little bit and now I will go in with the Makeup Store Reflex Cover in Ultra Light and I will use it underneath my eyes because that's pretty much where I need coverage. Um, I may be like a little bit red like around my nose and stuff like that but it doesn't really bother me that much now that I'm going for a natural look. <laughs> um, so I just want to like highlight underneath my eyes. I might actually just go a little bit on my nose like that. I actually got a snap from one of you guys that was from Australia saying that it is not this temp temperature in, that we have now in Stockholm is like nothing compared to what Australians have, which I get. Um, but it's just fun to hear <laughs> that she thought it was so weird of me that saying that I said that it was like melting hot because that's like an everyday for her. But I'm so happy that the summer is finally here in Sweden, even though it might like, I thought it was summer like a week ago and then it started raining and then it started snowing. <laughs> so you never know, but um, it feels like it's so hot right now. So I can't like, it would be the weirdest thing ever if it started snowing, but it's not impossible. And now I will go in with some powder and I will go in with the uh, Neve Cosmetics Drama Matte Powder. This one is like a transparent powder, so I can go in with it during the day as well and not like cake up, which I like because as I said, I'm very oily, so I need to uh, do touch-ups during the day so this powder is amazing for that. I'm also taking it underneath my eyes. Let's see, 
I'm just going to remove all of the creasing and then go in with the powder. Okay, and now I do want to look a little bit more bronzed than I am. I'm thinking maybe I should fake tan like tomorrow or tonight just because I don't know I love being pale but sometimes you just want to look a little bit more like fresh and stuff like that so I will go in with the, my Hoola bronzer from The Benefit and I will just bronze up the sides of my entire face also contour a little bit with this and also bring it down my neck just a little bit by the way, if you like my choker, which I love, I love this choker, uh, I got it from Wonderdusk, which is like my favorite place to get uh, jewelry. Like pretty much all of the jewelry that you ask me where it's from, is from Wonderdusk. They have such cute stuff and the girl that has the website is super cute as well. I also have a coupon code, I don't remember what it is, but I will write it down below if you would like to uh, check out the website. Also these uh, earrings that I have in my plugs are from Wonderdusk as well. And I've been really into having like earrings in my plugs lately, which you guys have noticed. So all of the earrings that I have in my ears, except for the like Venus. Um, things are from Wonder Dusk. Okay, so yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just taking it down my neck and also a little bit on my collarbones, a little bit on my shoulders. When I'm doing my contour, I like to go in like a rounded shape right here so my apples look a little bit cute. I think it works. <laughs> And now I will go in with a new blush, and this is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trios. I got all of them sent uh, from Anastasia, which I'm so grateful for. You guys who have seen my unboxing, girl, <laughs> I got so excited. You guys know who has seen it. I like actually started to cry. <laughs> if you would like to see it, I can link it up here or here. Um, it's on my second channel and it was kind of embarrassing, but still funny. <laughs> so I will go in with this shade called Pool Party and I will use this shade that is called Cash. Okay, and now um, I'm not sure if I want to go like unicorn, unicorn glow or not okay you know what i'm going to go in with my brows first and then i can make up my mind <laughs> so for my brows i'm going to go in with a lighter shade than i usually go for and i will go in with anastasia's brow powder duo and ash brown and also the deep brow pomade in medium brown and you guys have been saying to me that my brows are looking different and it's probably because I am using these new products. I always just like find new ways of applying, applying my brows, um, but that's pretty much what I do. Um, I always do it differently when I get a new product. Oh, I have a sit right there. Oh well. Like that, I do this shape and then I will go in with the pomade and just Make them a little bit more sharp if I want to. Maybe I shouldn't. I want to create some more brush strokes. So I'm using the pomade in medium brown. This is completely new. Uh... I also just put on some uh, brow gel and this is in the shade Granite. I actually really like when my brow hairs like stand out. Uh, so I've already applied that. And now I want to go in with the waterproof cream color in Honey from Anastasia. And I will apply this as a base on my lid. And I will just apply it with my finger and dot it on top. I will also apply it a little bit underneath my eyes. 
Okay, I'm actually thinking I will just go in with the blush colors just because they are so pigmented, so why not? And I'm thinking I will use uh, the uh, like cool toned, almost like a contour shade in my crease and then I will also use the same blush. Like that, just a very, very simple eye makeup, but it looks really, really cute and fresh and it takes like, no time at all. I really want to use something in the inner corner, so maybe I should go in with Aurora. Should I do like a more like a unicorn fresh look? I should. <laughs> I hope you are thinking the same thing as me. Um, okay, so let's see. What should I do? Let's use a little bit of Helia in my inner corner. Okay, I'll use some underneath my brows as well. I know a lot of people don't like this, like monochrome. Or duochrome maybe um, unicorn looks that people are doing nowadays and a lot of brands coming out with these sorts of highlighters but I think it's just so much fun and it looks cool right is it just me no you know what I'll again go in with Helia the like here it is <laughs> this one it's like minty green and I'll use that as highlight i also just use a little bit on my forehead, on top of my brows. Like on the skin, it looks a little bit more like, a, like it's a greenish hint, but it's like almost a bit golden. Okay, like that. I will also go in with Luna, just a little bit on the nose as well. You know what, I'll go in with Luna all over again it's because now I'm feeling I want to be the most glowy person in Stockholm. I will go in with the LA Splash Architect Liner and this is waterproof as well, which I need during a day like this because, or if not, like, nope. <laughs> My eyes are so teary, it will look horrible after a while. All right, I just closed my blinds, which I didn't want to do because I wanted to see the sun, but it just didn't work out anymore. So now you can probably see me a lot better. I'm sorry, I was selfish. I didn't want to like sit around in a dark room. Not that it's dark, but you know. So like that, and as you guys know, if you uh, are following my channel, I just uploaded a um, eyeliner tutorial and I kind of like cheat how I drew my eyeliner just to make my eyes look a lot bigger and I get like honestly I get messages from you guys every single day saying that it has helped you out so much and that makes me so happy that I could help you out and uh, so yeah if you like my eyeliner and you want like bigger eyes then check that out because it really helped people which is so nice to hear when you're doing this as a job. <laughs> okay, so I was actually thinking not to use any false lashes in this look, but I'm thinking maybe I want to. <laughs> but I will curl my lashes and then I will apply the Sephora uh, Cinescope mascara, which is one of my favorites, and then we'll see what I think. Now I do want some color in my waterline, and I'm going to use the yellow one, the one that I have right here. Here are all of the mood crayons from LH Cosmetics and I'm going to use the shade Happy. As you guys know, one of my like favorite things to do is to use a colored mascara on my bottom lashes. So that is what I'm going to do. And this is the NYX Color Mascara in the shade Perfect Pear. All right, so I'm done with the eyes and now it's time for lips. So I will go in with the Liquid Lipstick in Dolce. I've never tried this, but it looks so, so cute. It looks so cute and summery, like a corally nude. But I'm thinking, should I? Just because I got them, I got the new um, 
what are they called? Like moon jelly, I think they were called from Anastasia. This is just some of the shades. No, let's go in with the uh, moon jelly. It looks pretty cool, but as you guys know, I am not really into lip glosses, but it can look cute. Ooh. It works with the like holographic thing that I'm trying to do here. It's actually pretty cool and it's nice and it's not like annoying. Just like a little, but <laughs> I'm just ruined by all the liquid lipsticks that I always use. Alright, so this is the finished look. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, I just uploaded my um, vlog where I go and see Tokyo Hotel's concert here in Stockholm that I went to like quite a while ago, but it was just a lot, you know, I did a video about it. Uh, the day after the concert, it was the whole uh, terror thing here in Stockholm, so I kind of just didn't want to edit the video. I don't know. But it is up now, and I'm freaking out. I'm actually like, <laughs> you can hear me like scream at the concert, and I sound, I sound insane. Um, and I was just like nervous the entire day, and it, it was so good though. So if you'd like to see me freak out and act like an idiot, then you can check that out as well, link up here. Also, I would love to do a Q&A, because it was a very long time ago since I did one, and you guys are becoming a lot more than you were before. You are increasing, <laughs> so to say. Um, so I would love to do a Q&A, and if you would like to have a Q&A, then please comment down below some questions that you would like to get the answer to and I will do a complete video answering your questions. Maybe I can do a makeup tutorial while answering some questions or if I just answer all of the questions in a separate video. Yeah, that's it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I hope we'll see each other in my next video. Bye! <laughs>